Hello everyone, my name is Atish and topic of this learning video is solution of solution of system of solution of system of linear equations. So this is the topic and under this topic there are some methods like uh, as the name suggests solution of system of linear equations. So to get the solution of system of linear equations we have different methods and these methods are these methods are Mm. These methods are Gauss elimination method, Gauss elimination method. The second method is Gauss Jordan method. The third method is Crowds method, Crowds method, and the last method that we are going to see is the Gauss Seidel method. Gauss Seidel method. So these are the four different methods that we need to uh, learn in order to get the solution of system of linear equations. Okay, so. In the earlier classes, we have already taken a lecture on this. We have solved problems on this. So, on also on Gauss-Jordan method. So, these two methods have already be, already been covered. And in today's class, we are going to concentrate on we are going to concentrate on Crowds method. So, this is the method that we are going to learn in this learning dialogue. Okay, so. Uh, we have some different names of uh, Crowds method also. So let me tell you those names of Crowds method. Crowds method is also known as Doolittle's method. Doolittle's method. It is also known as LU decomposition method and also known as LU. LU factorization method. Factorization method. So these are the different names of the crowds uh, method. And uh, in this uh, learning video, we are going to see what is the working rule of crowds method. Suppose you are having a system, a uh, system of linear equations are given to you. Then how to find out the solution of those systems of uh, system of equations? To uh, by crowds method. Okay, so let us uh, see the working rule on crowds method. Okay, working rule. So I am telling you the working rule of uh, Crowds method. So the very first step is you will be given some system of equations. So you have to write down that system in matrix form. Write the given system in matrix form. Do you remember what matrix form that we have taken in the earlier two topics as well? Matrix form Ax is equal to B. Okay. So that is the first step. The second step says write, write A is equal to LU, write A is equal to LU and find, find all the nine unknowns all the nine unknowns okay now you may be wondering where that what is this l and u okay so let me tell you 
this uh, L is nothing but the lower triangular matrix uh, here I am writing where L is equal to lower triangular matrix which is L1 1 L2 1 L3 1 this is 0 and then this is L2 2 this is L3 2 this is L3 3 this is 0 3 this is lower triangular matrix as you can see and certainly you can tell me what is this U. This U stands for upper triangular matrix and what is that upper triangular matrix? What is this upper triangular matrix? The upper triangular matrix is 1 1 1 U 1 2 U 1 3 U 2 3 0 0 0 Okay, so this is L, this is U and we are going to make use of these uh, uh, L and U in the problem solving also. Now as you can see in this L and U, how many unknowns are there? We have 9 unknowns, that is why I have written, find all the 9 unknowns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So we have to uh, use this equation because we will be having a matrix uh, A. And in the right hand side, we have to multiply these two equation and then uh, equate. Okay, equity is already there. So, just uh, equate the coefficient. Okay, so we'll be getting the values of all these nine unknowns. Okay, so once you get these nine unknowns, your next um, step is to write down L and U. You just substitute in the values of these elements. Okay, now one remark I would like to make before we... Uh, go ahead in the step number three we just uh, you have to take uh, diagonal element one in the upper triangular matrix okay then and then only you'll be getting all the nine unknowns otherwise it will be just a mess okay so this is the second step uh, write a equal to l and find all the unknowns third step is step number three is about write l and u okay right after finding out the all the unknowns nine unknowns you have to substitute all the values in here itself and write l and u okay so next you have to solve uh, the next you have to write l and u and once you write l and u that completes your step number three now talking about step number four okay so this matrix form, suppose this is the matrix form, say 1 and this is say equation number 2. Now in the fourth step, what you have to do? You have to make use of equation 1 and 2. Use, use equation 1 and 2 to get what you can do. See, A is equal to LU. When you put A is equal to LU in equation 1, what you'll be getting? A is equal to LU. So, LUX is equal to B. LUX is equal to B. Okay. That is the, that is the fourth step. Now, let me tell you the fifth step. The fifth step is about uh, the arbitrary vector that you have to define. Okay. So, you just need to define, define u x is equal to v where what is this u u is this upper triangular matrix what is this x this x is matrix of unknowns that we have to find out x y z namely uh, or x1 x2 x3 and this v is an arbitrary vector that i have taken it is of the type say v1 v2 and v3 okay suppose this is the vector so we have to find out this vector and to find out this vector we have to define u x is equal to v okay and once you define ux is equal to v try to get and find vector v so in the fifth step what you have to do first you have to define like this and then use uh, uh, some equations to get the vector v and at last at last what you are going to do at last you are going to put the value of uh, u and x uh, and v we will be find out in this step number five and then we have to make use of this equation 
u x equal to v. So u will be known to you from this step. V will be known to you from step number five. When you substitute in this, so this is known to you. This is known to you. So what is unknown? X. What is X? X y z or x one x two x three matrix of unknown to get the required solution. We can write here use use u x z equal to v use u x equal to v to get to get the solution to get the solution of given system given system or you can write given system of equations okay so these six steps are very essential in order to solve the problems on crowds method and when you solve the problem you will be actually uh, realizing that uh, you will realize that these working rule or the steps that we have written under working rule is very 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 handy as far as the problem solving is concerned so i hope this video lecture is making sense if you have any doubt or any query in regards to this you can uh, contact me or uh, uh, if you want to see the example on this uh, working rule or on the method uh, namely crowd method crowds method so you can uh, click on the link given in the description to see how to solve the problems on uh, crowds uh, method by using this working rule okay so i hope this video lecture is making sense thank you for watching this learning video thank you and have a good day